Now that we've talked about naming some basic alkanes, let's talk about what happens when the alkanes have a carbon branch on them or branched alkane names. So each one of these little branched pieces has a name and it's very similar to the name of the parent chain in that if there's one carbon, it's a methyl group, and we just change it from methane to, uh, we remove the A and E and we put a YL on it to indicate that that is a branch coming off of the chain. And similar for the ethane, we change it to ethyl, and there's a two carbon long chain coming off of a longer one. Propyl, three carbon, butyl, four, pentyl, five, hexyl, six, and so on, just like we saw before. And we can have other structures as well, and they'll end in a YL. So let's just start doing some examples, and we'll talk through some of the rules behind what we're doing as we go along. So for this first one, we look here and we're going to first determine how long is the parent chain. And so we'll count one, two, three, four, five. We should also check to see if there's a longer chain some other way. So let's just count from this direction. One, two, three, four, five. Same length. So we know this is some kind of pentane. And on the second carbon, because remember we're numbering with the lowest number possible, there is a one carbon or a CH3 coming off of it. So this is on the two carbon, there's a methyl group. So we say two methyl. And then it's a five carbon long chain. So this is pentane. So two hyphen methyl pentane. Next, very similar. We have one, two, three, four, five carbons. Um, if we count going from here, it would only go to four. One, two, three, four. So in either of the other directions. So this is also still a pentane. And here it doesn't matter which way we start counting one, two, three, or one, two, three. They're both on the third carbon. And there's two methyls, so this is three, three, dimethyl pentane. Like so. All right, now let's count this next one up. So it looks like we might have an ethyl group on this uh, chain. So if we count it, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a six carbon long chain. And you might think, oh, that's the parent chain because we drew it that way. Well, let's just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's not a hexane, it's a heptane. This is sometimes a little tricky, just the way it's drawn. So instead of this being an ethyl group on the two carbon, it's a methyl group on the third carbon. So one, two, three. So this is three methyl. Heptane, because of seven is the longest chain and sometimes the chains aren't just straight like that now you could redraw this so it is straight and and if that helps go ahead i've i've done that before too all right here's another example um let's see here one two three four five so pentane in that way, one, two, three, four, five. So all 
indicating that this is a pentane. And so we do have an ethyl group on here and we have a methyl group there. And we'll try to number this uh, as low as we can. And we're going to prioritize the ethyl because it has a lower number or uh, it comes first in the alphabet. So it should have a lower number. So we're going to have um, two ethyl. So, well, let's see here. Wait. One, two, three, one, two, three. Sorry, three ethyl, right? Because that's the, the lowest we can number it anyway. So one, two, three. So we'll have, we'll name it first, but it is on the third carbon. I, three ethyl, okay. Two methyl, because we'll still try to number this as a low, the lowest number. Um, and then it's a pentane. I'm running out of room, so I'll just write it down here. So 3-ethyl, 2-methyl, pentane. It's like this. All right, now we've got somebody who's a little trickier. So if we count, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's a 7-carbon long chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's only going to be six if we count the other way. So we have this, and this is branched on the side chain. So the branch has another branch on it. And there's a way to name that. So you, you name this group differently because um, it has branching on it itself. Now I'll tell you a couple different ways that this can be named, but we'll start with the IUPAC way first. So this is one, two, three, four. So it's on the fourth carbon and it's on the fourth carbon, whether we count left or right. So four, and then we'll have to put this in a parenthesis to indicate that this has branching itself. And this is an ethyl group with a methyl on the first carbon. So, first carbon methyl group, so one methyl. There's an ethyl group on there, so ethyl. Close the parenthesis because we're done with that group. And then heptane. Now, there's another way to name this particular group that you might prefer and I'm a little bit used to as well. It's the common name of that group. And this is called an isopropyl group because this is a, a three carbon group that is coming off the middle. And so it's the same iso and propyl three carbons. And so sometimes people will just call this for isopropyl heptane. And then it's a little shorter than one methyl ethyl and, and all of that. So I'll just write that up here. Also a possible name instead of um, the methyl, the one methyl ethyl. This one also looks like it could be a branched alkane. And if it is, this would be called um, a 1-methyl, one, 1, 2, 3, propyl group, because the again, there's a methyl group on the propyl. But let's make sure it's branched, and we'll see. So if we count, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven carbons that way. And, but if let's just try this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
oh, there's seven carvings this way as well. And so this isn't actually a branched branch. This is the main chain right here. So we don't actually have to name this one methyl propyl. We're going to name it as this is a substituent off of the main chain, and that is a substituent off the main chain. And there's a few different ways that we could like kind of organize this. Um, and perhaps I'll just redraw it right up here so that maybe we'll see it a little bit easier. So I'm going to draw the same thing, only I'm, I'm starting from here and I'm going to draw kind of in that direction. So I've just drawn this part of the chain straight and now you can see, oh, it's, it's not actually branched. It's got substituents coming off of it. So sometimes it's easier to redraw it and then name it by rotating some of these bonds around or getting this main chain, um, completely straight. So let's see what it's called now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to count in this direction. So this is one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. So on the third carbon, there's a methyl, and M comes before P. So this is a three methyl. Four propyl. Don't forget the second hyphen in there. And then it's seven carbons long, so heptane. So that could be a little tricky. By the way, as a side note, if this was a side chain and we named it instead of naming it one methyl propyl, it could also be called sec butyl because it's on a secondary carbon. All right, let's look at this one here. Now I have made this long enough so that it is the main chain here. Uh, and this is a branch coming off of it. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine carbons long. That is the longest one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we want the main chain to definitely include these uh, bromines on it. And so that's going to just eke out the win. So it is it is long enough for it to be uh, the non-ane and and this to be the main chain here. And we want to count this as low as possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be on the third and the eighth if we count it that way. So we're going to count this way because it, it's a little bit lower. So this is on the two carbon. So this is two and that's seven. So, and bromine is um, low enough in the alphabet. It's gonna come first. So two, seven, dibromo. And the di doesn't count in our alphabetizing of things. Um, and then this is one, two, three, fourth carbon, parenthesis, and this is a propyl group, and on the second carbon, there's a methyl group. So it's two methyl propyl. And then nonane.
this particular group, the 2-methylpropyl, is also known as an isobutyl group. So if you're uh, considering the common name uh, type nomenclature. So that's what I have on the branched alkanes, and we'll see you in the next video.